Children often see and fear things that adults do not. Some become terrified as darkness falls. Some feel threatened when bright lights flash, and others converse with imaginary friends. As we grow older, we are expected to shed these phobias or be labeled as crazy. But what if the children and the institutionalized in our world are right? What if there really is something abnormal, paranormal, that exists outside our sensory experiences? What if the children are trying to warn us? Dr. Daniel Goldston, a self-proclaimed paratrooper of the paranormal, believes that the realm we call imaginary is scientific fact. Physiologists and biologists have known for centuries that children are capable of what we describe as extrasensory perception. In 1502, Leonardo da Vinci uh, mapped the visual processes of the eye in children and adults. Um, in his studies, da Vinci made a startling discovery. As humans move through puberty, they actually begin to lose some of their optical abilities, as shown in this diagram. Uh, Post-adolescent individuals are unable of perceiving an entire sector of vision labeled L. Da Vinci called this sector Visionum Apocalypticarium, which uh, basically we describe as apocalyptic vision, um, known as the, the realm of the paranormal. But for those who dwell in the paranormal realm, like Bob, shown here for the first time using a state-of-the-art psychic filter, the support provided by those like Dr. Goldston, while appreciated, offers little comfort. It's not easy being an entity like me, unseen by most of mankind. I mean, I like kids just as much as the next guy, but um, you can't go grab a beer with a seven-year-old. And trying to communicate a message to those kids, to adults, well, don't even get me started. I'm a little concerned about this picture Susie drew. I think it's supposed to be a bob. Yeah, that's cute. Her imaginary friend? Mm-hmm. Roger, look at it. That's creepy. I know. I think she's trying to be creative with her art, but it says Bob needs a pack of Marlboros. Where did she learn that? I don't know, but until Bob stops being imaginary, he's not going to get any real cigarettes from me. Oh! And unfortunately for Bob, many skeptical academics like Frank Noel refuse to believe the paranormal exists. Do you believe that there are things in this world that we can't see? Well, of course. Wind, carbon monoxide, darkness. Okay, but what about things like ghosts? No. But what about events that simply seem to lack traditional explanations? Isn't it at least possible that there are paranormal explanations? No, those are all garbage. But... There, granted, there are a lot of unusual events in the world today. How do you propose that we go about explaining those events? Oh, oh dang it. <laughs> do you need me to get you a towel or something? Friend. Every time I try to be so careful, but I always spill. Dang it. Honey, watch your language. Evelyn, mind your own business. I'm trying to do a gosh darn interview here. Oh, and give me an Excedrin or something. I'm getting one of those weird headaches again. We may never come to fully understand the complexities of this world we live in. However, there is one thing we can know for certain. Life will continue to be unpredictable. Until next time.